Some 200,000 children reportedly go missing in China each year. Some are abducted and sold. This practice has its roots in the past and lives on despite the country's rapid development. NHK World's Masaru Takagi has more. These are scenes from the movie Dearest, a big hit last year in China. It's based on a true story about families dealing with the abduction of children. One reason so many Chinese children go missing is a lingering custom in rural areas. Many farmers are willing to pay money for boys who can someday support them. Many people in China's farming villages need boys to take care of them when they get old. They're concerned the government can't provide adequate support. The fear of child abduction is so widespread that parents crowd outside schools every day to wait for their children. I'm worried there are many malicious people now. New products are appearing to help tackle the problem. These shoes are equipped with a global positioning system. Parents can use a smartphone application to keep track of their children. When a child ventures beyond a certain area, the parents get a warning. The shoes went on sale in September. The manufacturer expects to sell one million pairs a year. There are no simple solutions when children disappear. For many families, life becomes an endless search. Now, parents from around China are speaking up. This month, they called on residents of Zhangzhou to come forward with information on missing children. It's one of several cities where children have gone missing. Wu Xinghu is from Shanxi province and has spent more than six years looking for his only son. This is my son. The boy was abducted at the age of one. Wu says someone abducted Jia Chang while he and his wife were sleeping. Police turned a deaf ear when Wu went for help. So he and his wife have been searching near and far on their own. The chance of finding our son is very small, but if we don't look for him, we'll never find him. Wu says many people have contacted him with information. But he thinks most of them are really after reward money. Someone sent this doctored photo. The picture on the right is the one Wu distributed. It's clear the other one has been manipulated. is not giving up hope. For several months, he has been waging a campaign to find missing children and raise awareness. He visits village after village and tries to persuade farmers to stop the practice of buying children. It has been devastating. I hope these kidnappings will end. If people raised only their real children, then eventually I would find my son. I'll keep looking. For now, parents like Wu continue the lonely search to find the children they love and have lost. Masaru Takagi, NHK World, Henan Province. Improved accuracy creates new opportunities. One example is using robots for agricultural work. A group led by Hokkaido 